since we've adopted ELOC as uh, Bryanston, we've started to see uh, a sort of a development of comfort in terms of the way staff have started to use the product. Because staff are used to having mobile technologies with them, so be that their smartphone in their pocket, uh, a school provided iPad, or uh, a laptop, it doesn't matter, they're, they're very used to having the technology. What we're starting to see with eLockers is that they're, they're experimenting with ways of using it. So we're starting to see, for example, uh, staff team teach groups and using eLockers to record the contents of that team teach and then put that up instantaneously for students to consume straight after the lesson for extended learning. Uh, so we're starting to see staff have the confidence to almost flip the ideas around traditional teaching structures. Uh, eLockers isn't the solution, it's part of an enabler to, to allow staff not to worry about the use of technology. The smartphone has given us the ability and the iPad has given us the ability to have one button type technology. What eLock has allows us to do is join that type of technology straight up with the curriculum structures that most staff depend on. Who's in my class? What are the needs of those particular students? How do I subdivide that class, etc. So what we're seeing is the ability for the technologies to step back, provide uh, a reliable, simple app, and then with the very lightest of touch, give the, uh, give the staff the abilities to create structures and more dynamic type of environments for students to be challenged and to learn.